Wow, that was quite an exit. Yeah. You I were just, swinging all the way. Yeah, I wanted to give, you know, my last, like, input, because... Well, let's talk about, Nicole ultimately was the one who had the last say in, in evicting you. Mm -hmm. Did she make a mistake by keeping Paul over you in this game? I think yes, in a way, because I think Paul and Victor are definitely going to take each other as far as they can, and they're both mental and physical threats. Me, on the other hand, I'm obviously not that good at physical comps, but mental I am, and I would have took a swat swing at her if I could. Now, they told you you were the pawn this week and that Paul was the target. Ultimately, something changed. Why do you think they chose to evict you and not him? Um, I think I was just so sure that um, Paul was the target that I didn't really, you know, James and Natalie were reassuring me, reassuring me, it's best if I don't say anything, you know, they're smart about it, they're going to see Paul as a bigger threat, but I guess at the end of the day I was the bigger threat, apparently. You called Nicole, and this is a quote, the most boringest HOH ever. Yes! She didn't talk game to anyone, like no one knew what was going on, Paul, Victor, Natalie, James. She just sat up in her room all the time. Now, in all fairness, this week you didn't campaign either. You didn't talk game either. I did in the last two hours. Right. <laughs> yes, at the last minute. But you had all week. I was just so sure, though, because Paul, like, to keep Paul and Victor together in this house is just dumb, in my opinion. Like, I obviously got Victor out last week, and he came back in the house. <laughs> Well, in the event you were the one evicted tonight, Michelle, your housemates taped some oh, goodbye great. messages. Shall we watch and listen? Where? Right over here. Big Meech, I had a blast with you in the house. I love the fact that you dropped truth bombs and blew stuff up and had a love to go crazy just as much as I did. Don't worry, Big Meech. They still got this crazy guy in the house, and I'm going to blow stuff up for both of us. <laughs> Big Meech, this sucks. I did not want to see you go, but you know I always stick up for my boy Paul. I had to switch alliances, so now I'm with Corey and Nicole. And you were the next to go. I, knew I it. love you to death, and I miss you, girl. Big Meats, if you're sitting out there talking to Julie, I'm really sorry. I feel like I got blindsided. It's been a great getting to know you. You're an awesome person. Uh, take care of the jury house, girl. Meach, as a super fan of this game, I really hope you can understand that me getting rid of you this week was purely strategic. You called me out in front of the whole house, and it doesn't make sense for me to keep you around. I hope you can understand that, and I hope you have a great time in jury. I didn't get to see Natalie's. <laughs> What's making you cry right now? I don't know. It just, it just, it sucks. <laughs> I'm a fan of the game, and I didn't, I wanted to win. <laughs> what surprised you the most out of those goodbye messages that you heard? Um, nothing really. I know James knew it was a blind side. I had an inkling that Victor was, he's the biggest flip flopper, and I knew that he was in an alliance with Nicole and Corey, but that was just confirmation, so. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. You are, I will. <laughs> you are on the jury, and you get to help decide who wins Big Brother. Thank so you. there. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Julie. It's a pleasure meeting you. Same it's a super here. fan. Thank you. And audience, you guys are so lucky. I tried forever to get a ticket to sit in this audience, and I didn't. So y'all are all lucky. You, got, you did better than that. You were inside that.